Hello and welcome to Chimdu.org. In this video, we're going to look at how to do VLOOKUP but get multiple matches in Excel. I have a little bit of cold, so my voice does sound pretty weird. And please excuse me, but the techniques are super awesome. Now, keep in mind that I'm using Office 365 or newer versions of Excel 2016 that have like constantly upgrade. So if you're still stuck with an old version of Excel, you may not be able to use this technique. But nevertheless, it pays attention to watch this video closely because there are some very good tricks in this. So here I have got a, a simple travel plan where uh, for each date, which is the location where uh, someone's going to be. If you're wondering who is this about, it's about my upcoming travel plan. Uh, I'm going to be presenting at Amsterdam Excel Summit very soon. Uh, in in uh, in the second week of May 2019 and uh, we are traveling as a family Joe Nishant Nakshatra and myself all of us are going to Amsterdam for a couple of weeks leaving Wellington on 10th of May and then coming back on 28th of May so I prayed this uh, plan for our travel this is not exactly what we are gonna do it's just a, a rough draft of what we are thinking we will do and uh, there are these are the dates and that's where I will be on those dates. Now we all know how to how the VLOOKUP works. If you want to look up where uh, where we will be on any particular date, you would just put the date in there and then you will find the location here. Now because the dates are all in month of May 2019, I thought the input can be simplified to just a number which is 20 and then VLOOKUP can go and tell me that, that that's going to be in Paris. So the idea of this VLOOKUP is very simple. We just look up VLOOKUP a date that happens in the 2019 fifth month and the date day value is G3. Uh, look up in the plan table, get me the value from second column with a exact lookup and we get the answer for Paris. You know, we can just change this to 14 or 19 or 24 and then see where, where we are going to be. The reverse of it, which is if I want to find out where I will be in a location like Wellington, uh, I can also do this. Uh, we, we use our traditional index match technique where you just say index of plan date, match Wellington in the plan location with exact match and you will get the answer that on well in Wellington you will be on uh, Friday, May 10th of 2019. But unfortunately, this method is incomplete. This is because I'm not in Wellington just on Friday, 10th of May but I am also in Wellington on 28th of May so there's multiple matches are there but we look up or index match they just stop looking once they find the first one so how do you handle this now there are different techniques and uh, in the newer version of Excel 2019 version of Excel which I don't have on this computer uh, you can use additional functions which uh, we are not going to talk like filter etc to to get those matches but if you are just using Office 365 or, or one of the newer versions of Excel, you could use this uh, tremendously helpful text join function. What it does is it joins multiple texts. So for example, uh, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of text values and paste them here. So we could do a demo of text join. I can say text join uh, by comma space uh, and then doesn't really matter what you put there uh, and then just select those cells and uh, you will get Bel Berlin Amsterdam in the flight so this is like a concatenate function uh, but uh, one of the disadvantages of concatenate is that you would have to uh, individually select the cells whereas text join uh, allows you to select a range of cells and, and then it will join the text okay so that's the text join but the text join function also works uh, with not just fixed ranges but a range of values passed through an array so that's the technique that we are going to use if you select any type any city you will see all the dates where uh, when I will be in that city here that's the formula I'm going to just do a demo here uh, we could type Paris I can see that I'll be in Paris on Saturday 18th May Sunday 19th May and Monday 20th May uh, Prague 21 22 23 Wellington uh, Copenhagen no I'm not going to Copenhagen 
Okay, so that's uh, the formula. I'm just going to set it to Paris so we can see how this formula works. So here we are using text join formula. We are saying, give me all the dates separated by uh, comma. I'll probably do it here. Uh, and then true, because that's the important bit. You have to give true here in this example because we want to ignore anything that is blank. So if it is blank, uh, you can tell text join whether to ignore such empty values or not. True means it will ignore. And then we will write any formula. If plan location is equal to G7, that's the lookup value, then give me plan date with, with the text thingy there. I'll first show you without the text formula, text join. Uh, we'll use hyphen for the sake of simplicity. True, if plan location is equal to whatever is the input, plan, date, else blank. So we, we close the formula, we close the text join. Now if you press enter, this is not going to work. It will give me all the dates. But if you press control shift enter, you get only the dates in which I will be in Paris. Now I thought we are going to get 18, 19, 20 May, but we get these weird numbers that look like zip codes. That's because in Excel, every date is actually a number. So this is how that date looks to Excel in the naked form. And that's what Excel is bringing back. So to keep it simple, we really don't understand those dates. We want the, that thing to be reading as a date. So we just take the plan date and then put it inside the text formula, which can be used to convert data from one format to another. So take that date and then convert into D, 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 M, M, M format. Okay, so that means you take the date and then give it give the weekday, day and month. And when you press control shift enter, we get all those dates in which uh, I will be in Paris. Right, that's how it works. Uh, this is the actual formula where I'm using comma and space. Uh, and, and as you type, it will give me those combinations. So that's the VLOOKUP multiple matches trick. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as a quick note, this will only work if your Excel supports text join function. So just go to Excel, type equal to text join, and then see if, if actually you have the text join function in the drop down list. If so, then thumbs up, you can use it. Else, you would have to use one of the other techniques. In the video description, I have placed some links for those additional material where you can learn other ways to do multiple matches through VLOOKUP. So go and check that out if you're using older version of Excel. Thank you so much. And in case you're planning to visit Amsterdam uh, in the second week of May, either for my conference or just for having some fun, uh, feel free to um, shout and, and catch up with me on one of those dates. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye-bye.